Hello everyone, welcome to Public Net. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Instagram and Facebook. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new media is uploaded in Instagram, it will automatically post a photo in Facebook. Now Instagram and Facebook both are social networking sites owned by Facebook. So what we are going to do is we are going to send the data from Instagram to Facebook. But there is one minor problem. Of course, there is some kind of native integration between Instagram and Facebook. But this native integration is actually very limited. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Instagram and Facebook. And the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. Pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Instagram to Facebook. Instagram to Facebook. Okay, so just click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Instagram. Now as you can see, there are two of them, Instagram simple and Instagram for business. So I'm going with the Instagram simple. Now there is no much difference when concerning uh, trigger events. Both of them have the same trigger events. Now if you have Instagram for business, you can choose this one, Instagram for business. I'm going with this one, Instagram. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we select new media posted in my account. Okay, so new media posted in my account is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new media is posted in my Instagram account, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually at present there is only one trigger event that is new media posted in my account. Now in case uh, if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new media is posted in my Instagram account. Okay, so the gist is we are trying to integrate Instagram to Public Connect. So just click on connect with Instagram. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Instagram. Okay, so now Public Connect is demanding access, just click on allow. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Okay, so usually what happens is after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, we just copy the webhook URL into the trigger software. But in this case, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. So when we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created Instagram post. So let me go to my Instagram. So this is my recently created Instagram post. And uh, this is the link. Okay. And this is the uh, caption Blackberry phone review. So let me go to Public Connect and let me click on save and send test request. So basically it will capture all the data of this particular post. This is the recently created post. Okay, so let's have a look. In the username it is showing it as Honest Review 102. This is because uh, this is the name of my profile Honest Review 102. And then we have uh, the timestamp. Basically it was this time at which the post was created and or uploaded. And then we have the permalink. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just copying this permalink and opening this uh, in a new tab okay so as you can see it's basically the same post okay the same post and then we have uh, the media URL so basically this is the photo of that uh, particular post the blackberry so I'm just copying this and opening this in the new tab okay 
Excellent. So basically we have uh, got all the data to create a photo in Facebook group. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this uh, plus button. Okay, so when we click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Facebook group? Because we want to post a Facebook photo in Facebook group. That is why. Okay, so now in the action event, we just want to post a photo. So let's make it as post a photo. Okay, so basically there are many more action events like post message, post video. Now, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to post a photo in my Facebook group. Okay, so just click on connect with Facebook group. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Facebook groups. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. So when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blank is very simple. We are going to create a photo in the Facebook group from the data that we have received from Instagram via Public Connect. Okay, so in the group, it is uh, showing it as testing FB group. So when we expand this, there is a drop down. And as you can see, these are all the groups present in my Facebook account. So let me show you. So these are all the groups that is present in my Facebook account. All of them that is present here is just being reflected here because at this point, Facebook is now integrated with Public Connect. So I'm going to create a photo in this uh, particular group, testing FP group. Okay, so let me go to this uh, group called as testing FP group. Okay, so this is the group we want, testing FP group. So this is the group I was talking about, testing FP group. Now there is something you should know. First of all, let's go to this uh, part, these uh, three horizontal dots, click this. And let's go to this part called as group apps, click this. Okay, so as you can see in this particular group, Public Connect Productivity app has been installed. Now, without installing this particular app, the system won't really work. For example, let me take you to another group. Okay, so uh, how about I go to Public Connect and change the group as uh, how about Spicro. Okay, so this is a group or how about uh, Bulletproof SEO. So I'm going to select this uh, particular group, Bulletproof SEO. So this is a group. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, in this particular group, I'm just going to click on group apps. As you can see, Public Connect uh, productivity app is not uh, installed in this particular group. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going back to Public Connect, okay, and I'm going to map the photo URL. So this is the photo URL, okay, this is the one we want. Okay, and I'm just going to click on save and send test request to post this photo in this particular group. Okay, that's the idea. So, but the problem is it will give error. So let me do that and let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, we have the API response as error message. All of them are showing as error message. So my point is very clear. We actually have to install this uh, particular uh, app called as uh, Public Connect Productivity app. Okay, and otherwise it will just show an error. So this is the app we want, Public Connect Productivity app. Okay, so we are going to post uh, in this particular group okay so i'm going to change it back to testing fp group okay and uh, the description can be the one about uh, the caption blackberry phone review okay so we have entered the description we have uh, chosen our group testing fp group and we have entered the photo url so all i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on save and send test request okay so as you can see the api response is showing the data has been sent so let's have a look in facebook so let me remove this okay and let me refresh this Okay, excellent. We have uh, got the photo that is Blackberry phone review. This is the photo. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this uh, picture in uh, this group shows that we have successfully integrated Instagram and Facebook with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me show you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm going back to Public Connect and uh, minimizing my action window and minimizing my trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Instagram to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Facebook. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Instagram and Facebook. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a uh, one more upload in Instagram. Okay, so we have uh, uploaded a new image and this is the new post on, of uh, Honest Review 102 and the caption is Sony Camera Review. Okay, so let's have a look in our uh, FB testing group. So I'm going to refresh this. 
okay yes we do have the image and this is the caption sony camera review excellent okay so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new post or a new media is uploaded in instagram it will be reflected as a photo in your facebook group not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks